Hi, my name is Ariel Acayo, and I want to welcome all of you to the Immigrant Wine Bar in the East Village. I am here with Jason Curry, the owner of the Immigrant Wine Bar in the East Village. Welcome, Jason. It's good to have you here. I can't wait to taste some wine. It is a pleasure for me talking to you. Tell me about your background in wines. Well, most of my backgrounds in wine are Greek wines. I learned a lot at um, Malibos on uh, 55 and 7 in Times Square. Um, and uh, I brought the Greek wines down here. So uh, today we're going to taste the beautiful orange wine from northern Greece, the Macedonia area. Hey, tell me about the history of the immigrant, how this restaurant became the immigrant bar. Well, the immigrant was a witchcraft store for many years, okay. and I always lived upstairs. Okay. And uh, after the witches moved out, they expanded uh, down the street. Uh, I took it over and was able to open up a little wine bar here. Very nice. Yeah. It's a gorgeous place. Yeah. I want to talk about the orange wine. Okay. I have to. I, I want to know about orange wine from Greece. Uh, it's Domaine Tatsis. A couple of brothers, uh, they've been making this orange wine for probably 20 years. Wow. I can't wait to taste it. I'm sure it's going to be extremely interesting. Uh, do you have a lot of young people, all the millennials, trying this orange wine? Everybody. Everybody's drinking orange wine right now. Yeah. Very popular. It is an amazing wine. And we, uh, I definitely want to try it. I have never tried I from Greece. Correct. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious, delicious. Uh, yeah, I feel a lot of a, a, a lot of strawberries and raspberries, yeah. and it's funny because people think orange wine is orange. I'm sure right. they tell you a lot about that. Tell yeah. me about all those experiences. People but, expecting orange wine. Uh, some people think orange wines are made from oranges. Yeah. Exactly. So. <laughs> but it's all grapes, um, and um, you have a lot of skin contact uh, that gives it that that orange color. Fermented with yeah. skin. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is different, but it's great. But I want to know how you're doing after the pandemic. How's everything going? Um, it's good. Actually, we built the immigrant. It was a okay. it was a retail store, so we built it here. Uh, through the pandemic, we were constantly reinventing ourselves uh, with new drinks and and you know the outdoor seating, which has been great. Uh, orange wine has been a big big part of that success. Uh, we've 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 transitioned from you know five years ago we were selling mostly Malbec, to now it's mostly uh, orange wine. Yeah. I look you up in the internet about looking yeah. about your wine list and I didn't see the Greek part. It yeah. is so interesting. Yeah. Interesting because uh, or, uh, Greece wine have developed so much. Right. I remember 20 years. Yeah, tell me about the new generations of the Greek wine. Well, in Greece you get a lot of you get a lot of elevation and right now with changes in global warming and things like that, um, you're looking for places that the grapes are going to have a cold night or a cool night. Um, in Greece, when you get into the mainland, you have a lot of elevation. Um, the vineyards are on the side of hills or the side of mountains, so you still get the heat, but you get a cold night. That keeps the berry small. It keeps the grape small. Um, and you get a lot of phenolic contact from the grape. Um, in more traditional wine-growing regions, um, lower elevation, the grapes are getting baked. So when you pick up a bottle of wine at the store, you might have 15% alcohol in a Cabernet, I can't sell a 15% alcohol Cabernet. And the reason is the grapes are getting hot, big, fat, full of sugar, and you can't control the alcohol percentage. When I saw your wine list, I saw Cabernet, Pinot Noir, yeah. Malbec. Is all these wines from Greece? Is uh, that you are 100%? Um, Cabernet is from Greece. I'm um, still able to get like a 12, 12.5% 12 ABV Cabernet from Greece, um, uh, which allows customers to have a few more glasses. Um, if you look back, uh, the Mondavi Cabernet that won all the awards in sure. France in 1988, that was a 12% ABV Cabernet. Now it's probably 15%, uh, just because it's, it, they're having so much trouble with the heat. Why do you choose the East Village? Well, I live upstairs. Oh, okay. I, I had you. always lived upstairs. I got you. And then when the previous tenant left, nobody would rent it because it was so beat up after 25 years right. of being a witchcraft store. Right. Thank you, Jason, for inviting us to the Immigrant Wine Bar. And I want to welcome everybody. It looks great. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.